JEA has a new executive in charge, and we think the name will sound familiar to most of you. Former JEA CEO Paul McElroy is back as the new interim CEO. The board appointed him today after firing the previous interim CEO, Melissa Dykes. The senior leadership team she was part of is still being investigated by federal prosecutors. News 4 Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley is joining us now with more on this change in leadership at JEA. Kelly? Yeah, in his return to the public eye, the interim CEO, Paul McElroy, he's been critical of the recent leadership. In an interview or a description of the interview that we found that he had with city attorneys, he called the bonus plan, that controversial bonus plan that some of those senior leaders pushed for, he called it greedy. Less than a week after firing interim CEO Melissa Dykes, JEA's board picked a former CEO as her replacement, Paul McElroy. Paul McElroy was the CEO before Aaron Zahn. He has a 16-year history with JEA as the former CFO and CEO of the utility. He's credited by many on the board with significantly reducing JEA's debt. In a special board meeting, JEA's new interim CEO explained he came out of retirement to restore trust and ethics to JEA. The last two years, uh, that's been documented and, and a matter of public uh, uh, record and very disappointing to me. There was a, a core breakdown, and I believe it's it's more in the in the in the upper levels of JEA. It's not in the in the rank and file and, and the folks that do the hard work within the organization. Those sentiments were echoed in an interview he gave to attorneys who were assisting the council in investigating JEA's attempted sale of the utility. In his interview on March 26th, attorneys with Smith, Holsey and Bussey said Paul McElroy gave a precise, detailed and compelling rebuttal to the claim that JEA would fail unless it privatizes. They said McElroy also called the performance unit plan disgraceful, greedy and entirely inappropriate for a public utility. McElroy's contract as a full-time employee will run for six months to November 8th. According to the board, McElroy will get more than $280,000 for working six months from next Monday to November 8th. And there was some concern with Paul McElroy being that he draws from pension as a former city employee, whether he could also get a salary in this new role. Chairman Baker suggested there is an exception to that uh, for a former employee to come back if it's no longer than six months. That's why he's only set to be the interim CEO for that long. Uh, but it does put JEA's board in a short time frame to then find a new permanent CEO. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're telling you about another big JEA development, a member of the mayor's team that has declined to testify about JEA. Reporting live in front of JEA, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4.